What is an order book on an exchange and how does it work? Hey and welcome to today's video. My name is Julian. I'm one of the co-founders here at 10X and on my channel I want to talk about blockchain, cryptocurrencies, decentralization and so on and I want to explain all these things as simple as possible. If you have any questions just let me know down in the comments below. I always pick up those that get asked a lot and I try to go into those and today I was asked on what is an order book on an exchange and how does it actually work. Now if you have ever seen an order book on an exchange, you will actually see that there's always buys and sells. And this is something that's really relevant because an exchange never holds the coins. It actually only matches buyers and sellers and takes a cut out as a commission. This is different to a broker because a broker can actually still find buyers and sellers, but a broker legally holds coins for a certain amount of time. For example, also if you do over the counter, this is what actually happens. So over the counter, which is brokerage, you go and you talk to someone and say, hey, listen, I want to sell a certain amount and they match you with someone else, but they hold these coins. So you don't transact directly. You actually sell through them or buy through them. An order book on an exchange basically represents how many people, how many orders are happening at what price and then you can actually see balances. You can see how many orders for buying, so how much demand is actually there and how much selling is happening, so how many people want to let go. And then you can also see this in graphs where you can see, ah, okay, if it's really, really flat, that means there's no peaks of demand or no peaks of selling. Now, you can also see so-called walls in these kind of dynamics where you see, oh, wow, there's a buy wall or there's a sell wall. So someone who's selling or buying a lot at certain prices. What the order book basically allows you to do is it allows you to understand how thin the trading volume is. Um, if there's not a lot of selling or buying, you know, well, it's very thin. It's very difficult to actually trade or buy anything in this. Um, so if you buy a certain coin, it might be difficult to sell it again. You can see the liquidity, right? This is something that's really important. Or also you can see, okay, at what limit should you actually be selling or buying certain things because you can look, okay, someone selling it at a certain price and you can type in a limit order and you can buy at this certain price. What definitely helps here is if you understand or if you learn a bit about traditional stock trading because crypto is very similar to that and I think this could really help in this kind of sense. I hope this explains you what an order book is, how it works. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to have regular videos like this, then subscribe to my channel here and otherwise connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so on. All the links are in the description down below. If you're completely new to crypto, you want to get my book, Cryptocurrencies Explained Simply, which is an Amazon bestseller because it explains these concepts. Super, super simple. With this, see you at the next video. Yours truly, Julian. Mm -hmm.